Hi everyone, welcome back to Kavita Sugar and Spice. In my family, everyone loves caramel custard and payasam. So today I'm going to make a caramel semia payasam, a twist in uh, our traditional semia payasam. First, let's add some ghee into a vessel and uh, we are going to add 8 cashews and fry it in a medium flame. So we'll be uh, using more cashews later, that's why I use just 8, you can add more if you want. So once that's done, like it's a golden brown color now, we can transfer that and I'm adding raisins, so that's around 20 raisins. So let's fry that and transfer. And now I have a aluminium foil here. We can uh, pour some oil on it. Oh, I used the wrong end of the bottle. So yeah, I'm pouring some oil and let me spread it. If you don't have an aluminium foil, you can always use a steel plate uh, and uh, you know spread some oil in it. So once you do that, I'm going to spread 10 cashews half uh, or you know you can cut it into pieces and let's spread it and we'll keep this ready because now we are going to make some caramel and pour it on top of this so this should be ready for us I have placed a saucepan I'm going to add one fourth cup of uh, sugar we can just uh, spread it in the bottom and uh, I'm going to keep it in a, a medium high flame until it melts Then I'm going to add two tablespoon of water to the sides of the pan now it starts bubbling you need to keep an eye on it do not move away from the stove wait until it becomes uh, you know until it's uh, caramelized because this can burn in minutes now it's changing its color and turning into a golden color at this point you should reduce the heat to a medium heat give it a swirl and uh, wait for like few more seconds it should be ready so make sure all the sugar is caramelized and now we can transfer it or uh, pour it on top of the cashew you should do this immediately because if you keep the caramel in the pan it will burn and um, you know if you wait for too long it will harden so there are issues like that so make sure all the cashew pieces are coated with caramel we can let it rest let it cool down and uh, I'm going to use the same saucepan to make our next caramel sauce so again I'm adding one fourth cup of sugar and we are repeating the process I'm going to add two tablespoons of water and uh, wait until it caramelize I'm giving it a swirl to help the sugar dissolve and uh, let it work by itself now you know the process it's a uh, almost golden color now so you see all these bubbles there so we have to make sure these bubbles reduce like this and see and uh, you know before it burns we are going to um, move it from the stove see now you can see all the bubbles are popping so let me just move it from the stove at this point we can add half a cup of water it will splatter a lot so you have to be very careful whisk it well and make sure it's uh, dissolved and now we have our caramel sauce ready for the pie so we'll keep it aside when you make this uh, caramel and uh, when you pour water there are chances it will splatter all around the stove so you can use a piece of ice to clean it if you use uh, just water or soap uh, you may not be able to clean the um, hardened 
caramel so ice is the best option and then you can wipe it with a paper towel or a cloth next I have a saucepan ready here I am going to add one liter of warm milk so if you are not using um, roasted semia or vermicelli you can add some uh, ghee and uh, fry it in the same pan uh, before you add milk so I will be using pre-roasted semia next we are going to add half a cup of milk into our caramel sauce whisk it well and uh, once you whisk it there are there is a big possibility that you'll see all these tiny milk particles in it do not worry it's not spoiled or anything just give it a mix and pour that mixture into our milk So once you add it into the milk and give it a good whisk, all those particles will disappear and uh, the color of the milk will change into a light brown, beautiful light brown color. So once we add this caramel, um, keep whisking or keep stirring it in between. Make sure it doesn't burn. We have it in a medium flame. So next we are going to add our semia. You don't have to wait um, for it to boil or anything. So I have my semia in the milk now. Give it a good stir. Mix it well and let it cook. Now our semia is uh, about 3 fourth cooked. I cooked it for like 7 to 10 minutes. Do not leave the payasam on the stove and disappear from the kitchen. Always keep an eye, uh, make sure that the milk doesn't boil and spill. At this point, we can add half a tin of condensed milk. We are not adding any sugar right now. Um, we'll check the sweetness um, of all the caramel and uh, condensed milk and everything and we'll add the sugar later. So mix it well and cook it for a few minutes. I'm going to add one crushed cardamom. If you have uh, powdered cardamom, you can add uh, around one fourth teaspoon of it. Stir it well and check the sweetness. And now I'm going to add one fourth cup of sugar. Once you add the sugar, give it a good mix. Add our uh, fried raisins and cashews. Stir it and we are going to cover the biasam and keep it aside for 10 minutes. So while our biasam is resting, let's check our uh, caramel cashew. It's nice and hard. So we can look at that. We can peel it so well from this aluminium foil. It looks so perfect. Doesn't it look like a glass or something? Anyway, I'm going to fold this um, with the aluminium foil and uh, we have to make it into a powder. I am going to use a chapati roller to crush it. So I'm going to tap it. Don't make it into a fine powder. We need some uh, tiny pieces of uh, caramel and cashew and everything you can continue doing it with um, chapati roller and aluminium foil or else you can use a ziplock bag like this put those pieces in it and uh, again use a chapati roller or or even a tiny hammer without damaging your countertop uh, it's your choice so now we have our uh, crushed caramel this is how it should look i've transferred it into a bowl we can keep it aside for garnishing our pies and later. It's been 10 minutes. Now let's check our pies. I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar. Uh, check the sweetness and you can add it according to your taste. If you're adding more sugar, make sure you mix it well and keep it covered for another five minutes. 
so after that five minutes we are going to add our final touch which is a pinch of salt which will enhance its taste so once you add the salt mix it well and now it's ready to serve if you think this uh, payasam is too thick for you you can add one fourth uh, to half a cup of warm water and uh, loosen it up according to your personal preference even though this is our same old uh, vermicelli adding caramel just makes the taste so unique and different you have to taste it to know the difference so now our payasam is ready we can top it with the powdered caramel and uh, cashew now you can see along with the powder there are tiny bits and pieces which gives a good crunch for the payasam so i am going to try this payasam now uh, you can serve it hot or cold but i think i personally think this particular payasam tastes much better after refrigeration um, but with all that uh, caramel flavor and everything getting into the same year it has a unique taste after uh, you refrigerate it so do try it both ways and let me know your thoughts and comments thank you for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye